Welcome back to more Legacy of the Duelist. Everybody, we are going to go second as Chad. So we're doing Blair. To be honest, I don't know what this deck is all about. Is it those like love princesses or whatever that like made e heroes fall in love with them or some shit like that? I remember that. I don't know what else. Oh my god, I think it actually is. Dancing Fairy. Wonderful. Wonderful. Oh my god, what the hell is this hand? Well, actually, it's it's not bad because... Well, I need green, though. Um, but no, it is pretty bad. What am I talking about? You can have two of quick cards from your deck to your hand. When it's served by battle. Okay, so I think I wanted to set that one. This one is when it's normal summon. You can special summon up to four Ojima monsters from your hand in attack position. This is so freaking funny. Um, what we're going to do is set this one. Because I want to add two Ojima cards... And it can include Oja Muscle. Oja Muscle is treated as an Ojima card. Fire Prince. Okay, you have a Fire Princess deck, maybe. Okay. I'm gonna say yes. Yeah. So we're gonna add. I have an idea. We're gonna add Ojima Country and Ojima Green. Oh, you know what's coming, right? Oh man. <laughs> this is gonna be so funny, but it's actually going to work. It is the. It is the funny Ojima combo play. Ground Collapse. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna activate... Oh, actually, let's see here. Trophy... Okay, well, let's see if the signs are working. We're gonna go ahead and activate Ojima Country. Then we're gonna summon Ojima Red. Or... It's, it's actually Ojama, but I say Ojima sometimes. Ojama, Ojima, whatever. We're gonna summon Oj Ojama Red. And then we're gonna activate the effect. Yes. This is gonna be so hilarious. We're gonna do one... Two, three, and you know what? Just screw it. We're gonna do all of them. All right, and then we're gonna activate Ojama Delta Hurricane to blow up everything on your side of the field. Then we're going to inflict five thousand damage to you by all these attacks. This is so funny. But hey, Ojama Ojama Blue can you know can come in. Clutch, and Ojima Red is definitely the best one, because you can just spam everything from your damn hand. Everything. And then... Fine, I suppose we'll do Ground Collapse, right? Whatever. So that's everything. If, if you can get past this board, congrats, Blair, you win the duel. If not, I'm gonna win it, so... Let's see. Because, I mean, I'm, I'm in top deck mode now, so... Messenger of Peace? Oh my god, that card's so useless against me. Oh, your magic. Okay, that's dead. Well, we're just gonna have to attack here and... Yeah, cuz... Wait, no, I have to discard an Ojima card, right? Yeah. So, oh, wait, no, that count. Wait, wait, no, does it does count? Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I just misplayed. Oh, sorry, I thought... I thought that... Shit. Oja Muscle also counts, or sorry, sorry, oh, not Oja, uh, Oja, wait a minute. Oh, no, no, that's Oja Muscle, god freaking damn it. No, I, I misplayed, I misplayed. I definitely misplayed, my bad on that. Okay, I think I'm still gonna do this, though. No, I'm not, because you're at 13. Um, we're gonna do End Phase. Crap, crap, crap. For whatever reason, you know, it says, what, Oja, what, it's an Ojima car, right, not an Ojima monster. Oh, no, 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 wait, no, no, I didn't. I did a misplay. I did a misplay. I'm over here freaking going crazy. No, we're fine. We're fine. I thought I misplayed because I, I was going to activate Ojama Country to discard Oja Magic. I, I thought you discarded one to add one back into your hand, but no, it's a special summon one. So, no, you can't add back Delta Hurricane. My bad. Okay, so all I can do here is attack uh, this one. Oh, my God. Oh my god, and now you're going to gain life points. Well. Sucks to suck. But now... I don't know what to do here. I need a miracle. Because now you're going to gain 800, but then lose 100. You're gaining 700 a turn. Oh my god. You've got to be kidding me. That's not going to do anything. And now, if you have freaking Eva Magician Koran, I'm freaking done. Like, I'm done. 
And you do. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. That's it. We lost a duel. All you gotta do is just wait out the turns and I lose. You gain 12. I lose 15. In three more turns I lose. And now it was all my undoing for just attacking into these freaking monsters. That's another dead draw. We gotta pass. I'm actually gonna lose this duel. Like, I actually can't believe it. Oh wow. Um. I'm dead. Because I'm gonna take all this direct damage here. Whoops. Oh wait, right here. That wouldn't work though, because you can just redeclare to another one, right? I think so. Um, let's get rid of this shit and then this shit. I don't even know what I'm doing. I think you can just redeclare. Because the number of monsters change on my side of the field. Yeah, see, I knew it. Okay, that's. I actually had a pretty good position there, but, um, I mean. You can't really win with Ojamas if you don't draw into your fusions. You need to basically combine Ojama Country with your fusions. And if the game doesn't give you a single fusion gate or polymerization, then there's not much you can do about it. You're gonna lose every time, because a thousand attack is not enough. It works for a turn, for fun. I mean, you saw the Delta Hurricane thing, but... After that, pretty much any monster can still step over them. Or defend from them, I should say. Okay, well let's see what we do here. Another one of those. Okay, so I got Fusion Gate this time. But I have to draw into specifically... Well, let's see. Do I need... Do I need another Ojama Country? I don't know if I do. Um, we have to discard Ojama Country. I guess Ground Collapse? Uh, sure. Why not? We're gonna set this... Uh, there's no need to activate Ojama Country yet. Okay, so you're gonna attack me here. Oh god. We're fine though, we're fine. I gotta add a black and a yellow. Okay. So it doesn't trial the princess work? Wait, how does it work? During a turn that the- Oh wait, no, it has to destroy level 5 or higher monster. That makes it even shittier. God damn, okay. Uh, so, if all, all we have to do is basically the same play as before. We're just gonna summon, special summon all three. And then do, what, Delta Hurricane, I guess? Well, actually... We may not need to, now that I think about it. We can actually save a Delta Hurricane for a little bit later, maybe. We're gonna say yes, and we're gonna choose all of them again. Let's see if this actually ends up working this time. Uh, we are in a better position because we do have Fusion Gate, but but Polymerization is infinitely more useful because if I do Fusion Gate, I lose my country. So I can't go into a 3,000 beat stick with, you know, Ojama King. It'll be a 3,000 Defender because Ojama Country's gone if I switch to Fusion Gate, which really sucks. Um, so they're all at a thousand, and then you're at, oh, you're actually at 800. That's right, because it does swap. Um, we're just gonna swing in like this normally. Uh, this one will go in and kill you, there we go. Let's see what you have here. Oh, perfect. Shuffle it into the deck, that's funny. Okay, and then you all can attack for 2,000. So yeah, it's good that I did not use, um, Delta Hurricane yet. I may want to save that for something else. Um, I also don't know if I need to use, uh, I guess I'll do it. This, this could actually help. It helps if I actually bring out stuff like Ojama Knight. You know? But... There's a Fire Princess. What's that? What? 15? Kill the yellow. Okay. Well, I don't really have a play here aside from going into the fusions. So... Yeah, because the only Ojama card that I have, I can discard it to special summon, but then I lose my Ojama Delta Hurricane. So I can't exactly trade. Uh, the only thing that I think I can do is go into this display here. 
We're going to do Fusion Gate. And then we're going to activate Fusion Gate. And go into a Knight. And we're going to put you in Defense Mode. So we're going to use... I guess those right there. This will at least uh, put you in... Pretty much locked in. There we go. And then you can... Yeah, we're going to choose that one. There we go. This one we're going to go ahead and put in defense mode as well. And then we're going to set the magical hats. And we are done. So... Okay, that's fine. She can't use any other monsters zone, so that is at least good. Okay, and then here I'm going to do magical hats because I have to get rid of the crap in my deck that I don't need. All the trash. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Let's see what I don't need. Okay, I don't think I need another ground collapse. That'd be dead. And I don't... Let's go ahead from the hand or field to the graveyard. Actually, I could do Oj to magic. That would give me some good stuff, huh? I think it actually works. Like, so I can get one of each. I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's see if you guessed right. One in three chance. Got it wrong. Okay, Ojo Magic should trigger. There we go. Deck thins the more. Pretty good. And I lose the ground collapse and I keep the monster. Instant fusion. What would this accomplish? I can only bring an Ojima Knight from this. Hmm. I have a black. Uh, so... But see, I don't have my Ojima Country anymore. Shit, because I could have discarded one of these. There's no point in setting these because they're just going to die. I have to get both green and yellow onto the field, but I can only summon one. Um, instant fusion is not going to do anything. I'm not really sure what the point of this thing is. And there's nothing in the graveyard either, so I think I just have to take a pass here. Because I don't want to make another... Yeah, that'd be stupid. Uh, unless I'm missing something there, but I don't think I can make a play this turn. I don't think I can. Okay, so there goes black. Destroyed, unfortunately. I need country, and that's the only card that can get me out of this. That is, unfortunately, a pass. What is the point of instant fusion in this deck? Like, what's the point of bringing Ojima Knight out for one turn? It's gonna get destroyed in the end phase, so the whole locking of monster zones is pointless. Hmm, I'm definitely missing something. Uh, we're gonna set this, I suppose. Yeah, like, I, I legitimately don't know what instant fusion is for in this... in this deck. Like, who cares about locking op opponent's monsters on? Okay, finally, we got what we, got what we needed. Yes, 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 okay. That right there will take us into a country. It's our last copy, by the way. We have to be very careful here. Alright, hopefully this works. Uh, well, actually, it should work. We're gonna go ahead and activate country. And then, is this a once per turn? Oh, it's a once per turn. Shit. Uh, so there's no way that I can actually bring out... Yeah, I can't. Because I can special summon an Ojima monster. I can normal summon the other one, but I still don't have all the pieces for Ojima Delta Hurricane. So, we're just going to have to normal summon this thing here. Does that work? And this is the other reason why Instant Fusion is so stupid in this duel. Even if I use it now when these things are buffed up, it can't attack. So even if I use it for just to bring out a 2500 beat stick for one turn, it's pointless because it can't even attack. So the fact that Ojima and I can't attack and can't take advantage of its lockdown... Honestly, what is the point of instant fusion in this deck? Can somebody tell me? Because I honestly don't know. Really don't know. Uh, we're going to go ahead and activate this effect. At least get another monster there. We're going to discard... A black... To special summon... A black. Sure. Okay, I don't know what that back row is, but if it's Mirror Forest, I'm pretty much dead. Okay, it was not. Okay, swing for another uh, 2,000 here. 
I never should have set the instant fear. I should have kept it in the hand for discarding fodder if I draw into like a graceful charity because that thing is so worthless in this deck. I said it because I was at seven cards at that point. Oh my god, another one? Although I will say the whole um, locking a monster zone strategy is actually working very well. Okay, you're dead. I top deck an Ojima red. That's enough damage. We're gonna bring them all out. Well, actually, with that I can just activate freaking Delta Hurricane. That works too. Wait, no, I can't. What am I talking about? Oh, I brought the wrong one. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's fine. We're fine. There we go, and that's it. All right, next duel, a jewel of a duel. Oh, great, we're facing. Oh no, we're facing Crystal Beast. Alright, so we're actually starting off with a pretty good one, Convert Contact. Um, I have to see what I have with my deck here. Wonderful, wonderful, only Neos. Okay, that's pretty weird. Okay, Convert Contact basically says, when you control no monsters, you can send a Neos Spatian from your hand and one from your deck to the graveyard, then draw two cards. It's actually one of the better Neos Spatian support cards. Send that and then send... I'm not really sure actually. Probably this one. Sure, whatever. And then draw two. Okay, and then go into terraforming here. Get a Neo space. But that's about where this ends. Um, I, sh I guess we'll summon this thing and gain 2500 life points. <laughs> sure. Whatever. Um, that's all I can do, because Flare Scarab isn't going to do shit. Like, oh god. I'm really, okay, so I have to figure out what the engine here is, you know, for getting these cards out fast. Like, I don't have Necro Shit anymore. I saw that, what, uh, what the heck? I should win this call when Neospace on the field, special in one Neospace and Aqua Dolphin from behind her deck. Um, what would this accomplish? I don't think it would accomplish anything, but I don't really have a choice. I guess let's freaking do it. We got a deck thing, right? There we go. Okay, um... I guess if I... Oh my god. Like, is, is it good to be putting... Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna activate the effect. Surely you have to have like a freaking shitty crystal beast, right? Oh my god. No, you don't. Well. I think we lost. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we lost. <laughs> These decks are such trash, man. <laughs> like, this guy's got crystal beasts, which at least have decent stats. <laughs> and crystal beasts versus freaking aqua dolphin, flare scarab, and. Freaking hummingbird? Oh my god. At least I got a call, so it was good that I'd sent the Neos to the graveyard because now I may have a shot actually. This thing would only go up to 900, which is literally useless, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, I'm just gonna wait until you go to the battle phase and see. As long as you don't destroy my call, I should be okay. Okay, there's another Ember Mammoth. Go into the battle phase, please. Okay, now we're just gonna do this here. Let's see if that's an MST or something, who knows. We're gonna bring out the Neos. And... Okay, that actually worked. That actually worked. Fake Hero. This actually can also work pretty well. For just uh, getting Neos out into the field and then using it for contact fusion. Uh, but let's see, so if I summon this thing... These things both have pretty good stats. You only have one back row. Hmm. I guess I can go ahead and contact fusion.
I don't really have any other play. It's either that or just attack with freaking Neos. And I, I don't know which play is better. I don't think any of either one is particularly better. But we gotta try this. So, I'm not even close to winning this duel. You may think, oh, you got a crazy beat stick now. No. First of all, there's a back row. Is that gonna deal with us? Okay, that activates uh, Rainbow Ruins, I believe. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Um, wait. Oh yeah, I can- I was like, what the hell? That's, I forgot about that. Last Resort does that. I was like, wait, what, what the hell's going on? Okay. Wait, did I attack the- what the freaking hell? Oh, that's right, that's right, because it- yeah. That's MRM's effect, which almost never actually happens, but... I guess it happened that time. Alright. Uh, no. But yeah, the other reason why we're not even close is because now that he's going to start having Crystal Beast cards in the back row, he can start using the amazing spell and trap lineup of Crystal Beast for support. And that will easily wipe me out, like, pretty much instantly. So I have to be extremely careful. Dark Panther. So this thing basically just... We control this card's name and effects become those. Uh... Holy shit, man. This is just not gonna work. There's, there's just no way. Shit. Um. Oh, you know what I could have done? I think I could have actually copied the effect to make you gain 400. It doesn't matter. Oh my god, it's just so... This is pretty inefficient, so I... Oh man, it's also just buffing up your rainbow ruins. I'm pretty sure you're gonna have a play here. I'm at this guy. I don't know why I summoned the Dark Panther. I guess I shouldn't have. Emerald Tortoise. Oh yeah, that one can attack directly. I forgot about that. That's minus 600. You can put that in defense mode. Uh, no. Okay, that could actually probably do something. Let's see. Well... Ooh. I could bring in a Grand Mullen and just keep bouncing them back into the hand, huh? I could do that, actually. Okay, we're gonna get rid of... I could also just go into, like, Special Summon Neos, Normal Summon Glow, uh, glow Neos or whatever. Hmm. This is a bit of a tough one. But I'm gonna go with... I mean, this thing would also be dead in the hand. We're gonna do that. I don't know what is the better play. But I'd, I'd rather just do this. We're gonna do this and activate Chrysalis Mole to bring out the uh, Neospatian Grand Mole. Okay. Then we're going to enter the battle phase here. We're gonna do a shit ton of battle damage to you. Aw, oh, damn it. Half the attack. Oh, I should have actually... No, no, that, that's a two, though. It wouldn't have mattered. Yeah, that's right, so who cares? During when a spell trap card is activated, you can say one crystal beast monster you can... Okay, so now I can negate ones per turn. I gotta be very careful. Uh, we're going to bounce... That. Yes. Okay. That will continuously set, uh, you know, keep setting you back. Main phase two. I guess I'll do this to see if you actually do it. No, you didn't. Because I think it works on any. Maybe you can send one good swing to control and then negate the. Yeah. You didn't feel like it, huh? Alright. Whatever. End the turn. Oh boy. Can I actually win this duel? I have no idea. Alright, you ended up setting. No. What the hell? Oh, Penny. Okay, so I can just do the same play again. I can just normal summon. So I'm about to actually put four in the back row. With four in the back row, once per turn you can draw a card. Holy shit. Okay, uh, enter the battle phase. We will attack that one. Okay, didn't actually do it. You don't want to clog up your back row. I get it. I get it, you know? We're going to activate the effect. 
Granimal is such a busted card. Um, I mean, eventually it got Power Crab, which is why it's no longer in the ban list, but my god. Um, Granimal is just insane. It is an insane card. What? What was the point of that? I don't know. He's lost his mind. This guy has lost his mind. E emergency call. I think that's. Oh no, it's not dead. We still got another target, huh? Oh wait, no. They all go back into the deck. Duh. Every contact creature makes will go back into the deck. Okay. Well, whatever. We're gonna go ahead and normal summon Grand Mole. And that should be game right there, uh, because we can attack with Grand Mole. Bounce both. Hopefully this attack works. Let's see. Oh wait, no, it won't. You're gonna have the battle damage. Forgot about that. Well, shoot. That's fine. End turn. You're now at 2700. You are running out of stuff here, Jesse. Uh. Also, I cannot but notice this guy does not have Sapphire Pegasus. Or Ruby Carbuncle, the two best Crystal Beast cards. He's not running them, which is actually. really messing him up. Special Mullen Crystal Sponsor on your deck for each Nail Special Monster with a different name in your graveyard. Well, whatever. Uh, we're going to go ahead and normal summon this thing again. I know, shocker, right? It's crazy. Enter battle phase. We will attack you. Okay, uh, main phase two. I suppose we'll just go ahead and set this so we don't, you know, <laughs> end up having to discard. Okay, now it should be the end of the duel. We're just gonna go... Dark Hole. That's tempting. No, it's not. I'm kidding. Okay, we're gonna summon this. Go into Battle Phase and let's see if it actually finally works. So I think the only reason I won this duel was because of Grand Mole. Honestly, I think that's the only reason why I ended up winning that duel. Okay. Hanging with Axel. I haven't made too much progress in this freaking episode. Is, isn't this only like the second or third duel? Well, it's at least the third duel. It's either the third or fourth. I'll go second this time. Okay, this hand is pretty bad. Aside from the E emergency call, I mean, I guess I could combine into a fusion right from the start. Oh, you got volcanics, that's right. Holy shit. Alright. Wow, I got an Avion just like that. Okay, what do I have here? Wild Wingman, Shining Flare Wingman, Flame Wingman, and then Flare Neos. Hmm. So, I can actually go into. Oh, you gotta be kidding me though. You tie with Volcanic Rocket, I just realized. That is so stupid. I could go into Flame Wingman, destroy Volcanic Rocket, deal 2100 damage to you, but then I'm susceptible next turn to Blaze Accelerator. Or I could go into Wild Wingman to pop the Blaze Accelerator, but then I can't even attack over the Volcanic Rocket because this thing is so weak. It only has 1900 attack. Holy shit. There's not a, there's not a particularly good play here. I think we're gonna go. Actually, what else do I have here, though? Um. Yeah, there's not really. Whatever. We're gonna have to go into this. I kind of hate to do this, but it's the only option. So here we go. We're gonna do Wild Wing Man. Because honestly, I think the odds of getting destroyed by Blaze Accelerator the next turn are much more likely than getting destroyed by Volcanic Rocket or your monster somehow against this Wild Wingman that I'm going to put in defense mode. Okay. Then we're going to activate the effect. Pitch this. Pop that. I could actually do it again, and I might as well because it's other, these fake heroes are dead in the hand. It's not a once per turn. What was that? Firewall. Okay, oh, that actually... 
can negate that attack by remember playing one power tile. Actually, that wouldn't have worked anyway. All right, um, let's see what you got. You got four cards in the hand and the rocket on the field. Can can you out this wild wing man? Not quite yet. Okay. Oh, wonderful. Um, is it stupid if I? <laughs> I know what you're thinking. <laughs> oh, I have to. I, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna have to do it because. Okay, that's fine. Because like, if I don't, you're just gonna build a field presence anyway, and I'm gonna be screwed by you just getting one monster removal card, and that's game. Either way, oh, okay, and that also outs me. See, so like, there was no good or bad play there, but now you're gonna crash and probably do 19. I'm guessing. Or you can just activate Blades Accelerator, and I'm dead too. Yeah, that's right. All right, there was no way I, could, I was going to get out of that. There's no way. So you can't declare an attack this turn, but I believe I am dead. Do that, that. Yeah, that's a loss. There's no way I can make, make a comeback from that. That's impossible. All right, let's retry. Yeah, losses are going to be happening so often. Duels are getting much, much harder. And there's a lot more luck involved, as you know. Uh, we'll go second. This hand is not that much better than the last one. In fact, you could argue it's worse because I don't have a single polymerization, so I can't even attack over your stupid monsters. That is pretty bad. Um, E-emergency call. Holy crap, uh... What do I even do here? Wildheart? I don't know. Alright, Wildheart, go ahead and swing in. That actually worked. Okay, there's volcanic counter. What does Hero Wing do? Target one more time monster with 300 or less attack, equip this card to that target. Monsters your opponent controls with 1900 or more cannot attack that target. With 1900 or more. Got it. The problem is it doesn't work on Wildheart. Oh, well. Okay, whatever. Oh god, are you gonna send both? I thought you were gonna send two more and then blow up my Wildheart. God freaking damn it. So I think the other thing too is that um, this duel becomes significantly easier if he does not find Volcanic Rocket. If he finds Volcanic Rocket, and he had everything perfectly in the hand, he had a Doomfire as well. I believe this is another loss once again. Um, he just had everything perfectly. Are you serious? There's no way that just happened. Polymerization is not going to work because I don't have the correct pieces. So I'm just going to set, and that's a loss, yeah. If I just set the, the... Wait, wait, hold on. I don't have a... Yeah, no. That's a loss. If I just set the AV on, I'm going to take 3,000 freaking damage next turn from the Doomfire, and I'll be down to like 1,000. There's no way. Yeah, so I'm looking at this now, and if you want to understand the luck element, like, every duel has a luck element, and I guess it's about finding it, you know, and seeing if when you're going to win the duel. So I think for this duel in particular, it's him not finding Volcanic Rocket. If he finds Volcanic Rocket, the odds of you losing are significantly increased. But if he does not find the rocket, then you're, you might be in a much better position, to be honest. Okay, that card is uh, pretty bad, from what I remember. It gives me a free draw. Oh my god, so many freaking garbage tribute monsters, too. My god. Wild Heart. Oh yeah, so I didn't read Soulfire. Opponent draws one card, select a power Thomas from a deck, remove it from play, inflict damage uh, to equal to half the attack of the monster. And if you activate this card, you cannot declare an attack this turn. It is so many limitations, like it's crazy. Right, there's a counter, so I don't think Hero Ring actually works. Oh, yeah, on Wild Heart, duh, because it's not affected by trap cards, which is pretty awkward. Seriously? Stop finding Rocket every fucking duel, dude. You don't... You don't see me going with my clutch freaking monster every single time? Come on. I can't win this duel if you bring out Rocket. I don't think I can. Let's see what this pot of greed gives me. 
One, two. Th well, now I actually, if I could find Neos, I'd be able to do it with this fake hero, but that's what, 5 plus 12? That's uh, 17? That's not enough. Uh, we're gonna set this. I don't even want to set anything because I, I need everything in my hand because I need to see what I draw next turn so that I can maybe fuse so something. You know? I need either a Neos or actually a Polymerization would even help because I can't fuse anything here. Like, I really can't. What is this? Make sure one Neos fusion monster you control. That's dead. Oh my god, dude. This, this is awful. This is so bad. Oh, this is giving me a freaking headache. I just... I just can't get through this duel because you keep drawing your fucking volcanic rocket. There we go. Okay, that could actually help. Let's see if this actually works. I don't think it will because I know you have that stupid... freaking Raigeki break. That's probably gonna just wipe me out. But we'll see. Okay. And then... Oh boy. It's only gonna be for one turn, but it's basically just to... No, but... It, but see, then yeah, I also need Neo space. That's the thing. <sighs> That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. There's no way. Well, actually... Hold on, hold on. All the vision material monsters just in a vision on your day, you can special summon them. Oh. Actually, it would work. Okay. No, shut up. I don't want to do that. Okay, then this one. So I could just defusion. Target my vision monster, I feel like you're going to target that. them, whatever. Okay. So we are going to attack this thing. Okay, we have to chain. Thank God we still have this. Oh my God. Oh my freaking God, dude. Actually, wait, but it's widespread ruin. I think it would still work and destroy my Neos. I think it's still gonna destroy Neos. Yeah. This is another reason why Widespread Ruin is significantly better than Sakuretsu Armor. It doesn't target. If he had Sakuretsu Armor, Sakuretsu Armor would have fizzled in that case. and It would not have worked, but Widespread Ruin does work. And that right there is another loss. He had the perfect card, again. Alright, I'm just gonna cut until I beat this guy. You've seen enough. Did you seriously... This fucking guy was in top deck mode, and he top decked a Doom Fire when he had a Tribalist Accelerator on. I, and I top deck a Neos, fake hero followed by a freaking Neos. Are you kidding me? Fuck this game. Okay, this is about the fourth try since I did the cut, so I failed about another three tries. And I'll just tell you right now: the only way to win this duel is if he doesn't go into the Rocket combo. Um, I lost every single duel when he played Rocket because he just drew it every single time, except this last time, and I defeated him fairly easily. Anyway, uh, before I end this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I will see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.